throughout the year. So, if y'all can come together and pray with me, si pueden juntarse y hacer una oración, if my cousin Eric Guillén can come up to the microphone, si mi primo Eric Guillén puede venir al micrófono para acompañarme en esta oración. Uh, first of all, we ask you, dear Lord Jesus Christ, come into our lives, touch our hearts, our mind, our soul. Bless us. Bless every day that we live. We thank you for this wonderful day, Lord, you have given us. Bless all those people in need, all those people suffering in this moment, all those people in pain. Deliver us from all evil, Lord Jesus Christ, and bring unity and peace in this world, in this nation. In this city that we live, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for bringing all these people together here. Bless all their families, their lives, and everything they do, and around everything that surrounds them. Señor mío Jesucristo, te damos gracias por tu gran amor, tu gran bondad, tu gran manifestar que haces en nuestras vidas. Porque eres grande, eres maravilloso, Señor mío Jesucristo. Gracias por las familias que unes más a más, que das esa unción sobre nosotros, Señor mío Jesucristo, toca nuestros corazones, nuestras mentes y nuestras almas para seguir viviendo esta vida con alegría y con fuerza que nos das. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ, give us the strength of faith to continue walking, walking on this earth, walking with this earth with a positive mind, positive thought, positive feeling, to always smile one another, respect one another, and always live in harmony and love. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for giving us a great love, my cousins. Bless them always, especially my dear Gloria right now. With her health, bless her. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for everything you gave us. Because you are wonderful, you are loving, you are courageous. Your love is merciful and you're always with us thank you lord jesus christ in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen thank you eric for that beautiful prayer gracias eric for la oración hermosa ahora quiero pasar el micrófono i want to pass the microphone to someone very special into our lives. Quiero pasar el micrófono para alguien muy especial en nuestras vidas. Many people know that my mom cannot be here today due to her being sick still. Because it's hard for her, you know, to keep fighting as the mother who gave birth to Vanessa. You know, she couldn't be here because it's so emotional, you know, for her and for all of us. Hoy mi mamá, Gloria, no pudo estar aquí hoy porque sigue enferma. Porque es muy emocionante que ya, ya hace un año se llevaron a mi hermana. Entonces, le quiero pasar un micrófono que no sea la mamá de Vanessa de sangre, pero es nuestra mamá, es nuestra segunda mamá. She may not be Vanessa's biological mom, but for all of us, since we were little, she's a second mother to us. So I hope, you know, she has encouraging words. Y, Es una, es una segunda madre para nosotros, entonces, muchas gracias por estar aquí hoy. Alma García. Uh, hola, buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Alma García, soy hermana de Gloria, soy la gemela. Este, le quiero dar las gracias, en nombre de ella, por acompañarnos en, en este momento, estar recordando y honrando la memoria de de mi sobrina Vanessa. Mi hermana no pudo asistir porque está dedicada de salud, como lo dijo Lupita ahorita. Estos momentos para mí son muy dolorosos, porque lo que siente mi hermana lo siento yo. Aunque yo no haya tenido en mi vientre a Vanessa, ella es, 
era y es como una hija para mí. Y ella a mí me miraba como una segunda mamá, por el hecho de que soy la hermana gemela de su madre. Entonces, a través de, de mi hermana, Dios los bendiga, muchas gracias. Y sigamos para adelante en la lucha, sigamos para adelante. Yo sé que Dios Todopoderoso le va a dar la salud a mi hermana para seguir con esta lucha que aún sigue, aún sigue. A pesar ya de un año, este, no tenemos toda la respuesta, no tenemos los culpables en las manos, no tenemos los nombres, pero yo sé que Dios Todopoderoso este, no nos deja solas. Yo sé que tarde que temprano va a haber justicia, va a haber justicia por este ser tan hermoso que está aquí, que es mi sobrina. Y les doy gracias, muchas gracias. Dios los bendiga por todo el apoyo y sigamos en la lucha. Muchas gracias. ¿Quién vive? ¡Vanessa! Gracias. Dios los bendiga. Hopefully I don't get emotional by saying this. Uh, ojalá que no me agarre la, la emoción. I, I don't know if y'all know about Team Vanessa. They've been here with us next to us from the start. They've been pushing and pushing and pushing every day. And I remember that we started our first protest in May 1st. I remember every Wednesday we used to go out to over there by 59 Highway and you know bring banners uh, through the through the highway and they're always been there no matter what they've been there uh, el equipo de Vanessa siempre ha estado al lado de nosotros no hay ningún evento que ellos nunca estén aquí no hay, no hay ningún día que ellos no nos, no nos pregunten cómo estás qué necesitan entonces quiero invitar al grupo I want to invite Team Vanessa to the mic to come speak on their behalf and you know, how important it has been and why we need change and why we need everyone to hear us. Y si Tania Moreno puede venir al micrófono, uh, uh, y Aresi, y Ashley, y todo, Team Vanessa y Frida, si pueden venir aquí y hablar sobre qué significa ustedes, if Team Vanessa can come up. Okay, uh, my name is Tanya. I'm part of Team Vanessa. Along with uh, our other friends, we were all friends of Vanessa at one point. Um, I personally met her uh, when we played soccer together with uh, Barcelona, with Frida's dad. Um, I remember her being such a like motivating person, player, teammate. Uh, those who that played with us, they know how bad we would lose the games. But no matter what, she always motivated us to do better and never give up, and always pushed us to play harder and finish the game. No matter what, we always came out. If we, even if we lost on the field, like between us, we knew we knew that we always gave it our own. I think that's what was most important, not giving up. Um, we started Team Vanessa again, like as friends, going out to support the family, uh, to vigils, protests, going to church. It was about exactly like a year ago that we made our first trip to Fort Hood. It was only about 20 people that that went out with us. And now it's pretty big how far we've come. Like, it's not only in Houston, it's in like all over the world. So, and it's thanks to you guys for always sharing and supporting us no matter what. So thank you guys for that. And then with the family, although we're not blood related, we always see them as family and we love them like our own family. So we're always with them no matter what. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Frida. Um, I don't know if any of y'all remember. Um, everything started from the Facebook page. Um, I remember just feeling like I was bothering Maida, but it was something that had to be done. Um, we met Vanessa here at Chavez, just not too far from here, and everything was just sports related, and uh, the friendship rooted from there until 
one year ago, everything changed, and uh, it was only fighting from there, even though sometimes it felt like we weren't getting anywhere. Thankfully, it grew really fast, and um, at first, like she said, it was just 20 of us, but um, with the support, it got bigger, and we got where we're at now. Unfortunately, things didn't end the way we wanted them to, but um, we hope to soon get justice. Um, Buenas tardes. Uh, mi nombre es Frida y la amistad con Vanessa creció aquí en La Chávez y todo fue deportes. Desafortunadamente todo esto empezó hace un año y gracias al apoyo de ustedes hemos llegado tan lejos, pero uh, primeramente Dios tendremos justicia y primeramente Dios se eh, gloria se va a poner bien. Es demasiado fuerte y con el apoyo de todos nosotros y de ustedes um, pronto saldrá de esto. Thank you, Frida. Thank you, Tania. Thank you, Team Vanessa. Uh, you know, not to say, but those are real friends in life that have been there for you and you know these are real people standing up for what's right so thank y'all thank them and you know thank the lord for for being us here today and now i want to pass the microphone to someone who i feel que like there's this saying in spanish andas como un chicle al lado de ella I, uh, there's this saying in spanish i'm gonna translate it to english it's like you're always like a gum under her shoe and, like i'm always like next to her all the time but you know, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here today. Si no fuera por ella, tampoco no estuviéramos aquí, because she has been since the start, and she's the one that has been fighting every single day. And I, I know she, she doesn't like to, like, you know, talk a lot in front of people. But like I say, I, I'm here for you, and I'm here for life for you, and I love you. Si. I'm here and you know as Vanessa, Joanna and Mayra and as me, we're sisters for life. Somos hermanas por la vida and we're here to stand up for each other no matter what happens to us. So Mayra, thank you so much for everything and remember that I love you all the time. Well, first of all, thank you guys for, for coming out today. I know it was last minute. Everything was supposed to happen last Friday, but um, the weather, I was getting the investigation first thing in the morning. It didn't help. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, um, this has been uh, very hard on on my family since since April 22nd. Um, I had to, to drive up there and try to figure out where my sister was, but... Um, I, I promised her, and, and I know she's looking, I know she's here with us today, that um, I wasn't going to give up no matter what. I don't care if it took me 20 years from now to find out the truth. I was going to find the truth. And um, here we are Here we are today, and um, um, I'm very thankful for, for, for you guys. You guys have been, you know, uh, putting attention to, to what's wrong with this world, and um, that's why we're here today, because of the media, because of the public because of uh, people with big hearts like Natalie, um, Freda, the guys, the girls helping us. Um, you know, here in Houston, they show us a lot of love and I wish it was like that everywhere, but unfortunately it's not. So, um, you know, now we have Charleston with Exotic Pop helping us get the word out and giving honor to Vanessa for being the first female in, uh, in the bottle. And, uh, you know, we're, we're here, we're, we're gonna keep pushing till the bill gets passed. Um, we're gonna keep pushing until justice is served because um, they think that with that investigation is more than enough, which is not. Um, they messed with the wrong people. And I'll say it all over again. Um, I don't know if they thought that we were just gonna turn around and, and give up, but no, we found her 
and now it's time for justice and those that did the harm will pay no matter again if it takes me 20 years from now um this has became my life and i just hope you guys keep pushing with us throughout the whole thing thank you now i think it's time uh you know there's some wonderful people it's a wonderful team they stand up for the community they stand up for my sister they're standing up for almost everyone here in houston uh, son una, es un equipo maravilloso que siempre ha ayudado a la comunidad y siempre se andan parando una para otro aquí en houston so if exotic pop pop exotico pueden venir aquí a hablar if exotic pop can come to the microphone and talk what he means about you know establishing this water. So as many of y'all know, there's a there's a refrigerator with the water bottle with Vanessa's name and Vanessa's faith and story. And Travis High School is down the street from here from Park Place. She was a track star, four-year varsity soccer player, cross country, weightlifting. And there was not a single day, not a single day that she did not miss the gym. Vanessa era una deportista de fútbol, alguien que corría, hacía pesas, y no había ningún día que no iba a gimnasio. And I think it's, it's a great project to start off because she always used to drink water. She was an athletic person. And I remember her always bossing me around about, hey, drink water, drink water, drink water. Stop drinking Coke, stop drinking Coke. And, you know, thank you for starting this project. So, excited Pop, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Charleston Wilson. I'm the owner of Exotic Pop. We're a Houston-based black-owned beverage company. And one thing we like to do is we like to use our platform for positive. We sat down with the family, the Gillian family, and strategized what would be the best thing that we can do to play our part and to continue, to continue for this fight for justice. And the best thing that we came out with was knowing how much Vanessa loves water, we wanted to produce an alkaline water on her behalf and donate all 100% of the proceeds to the Gillian family. One beautiful thing about our company is not only do we have an uh, incredible community of people who work behind the scenes for the company, but we also have some wonderful ambassadors of the brand who get behind us as well. So today, we would like to present three checks on behalf of Exotic Pop and Poppy Satiko. Money Casino, he heard what we had going on, and he came by the warehouse yesterday, knew what we was meeting with Mr. Gillian family, and he donated $3,000, he donated $3,000 on his behalf to Gillian family. Another one, of our, another one of our ambassadors is Baby Bash. He heard what we had was doing today. Sorry he couldn't be here today. He was out of the country on tour. But he also donated $2,000 to the, the Gillian Foundation. Ooh. 
And since April 22nd, we've released the water. The water's been doing great, been selling all over the world. And we would like to use today to donate the proceeds on behalf of Exotic Pop and Pop Exotico. So today we'd like to present the Gilgit family. Today we'd like to present the Gilgit family with $15,179.36 for a grand total of $20,179.36. Thank you so much. And we're not gonna stop until justice is serving, served. We're gonna do our part until those bills are passed. This will not be the last time we will stand next to the family and we ask y'all to join us in this fight. Thank you. to say thank you to you and to Pop Exotico and Exotic Pop. You know, you're standing up for the community and that shows how a big heart you have. So, you know, thank you so much. It, it, it means the world to us. Thank you. Gracias. It significa el mundo para nosotros, no? You know, esto es increíble. And I don't know if you have read already, the Vanessa Guillaume Foundation, that's one of the biggest announcements I have tonight. So I want to say something first and then invite our attorney, Natalie, to speak up right now. So it has been a long journey. It has been a long journey, you know, one year already. But guess what? We're not stopping. We, we are not going to stop. Uh, you know, I remember my sister Vanessa always pushing me to do my best and to never give up, to never give up to show people who are you made of, to show people, hey, doesn't matter if you're 12, 13, to stand up, doesn't matter if you're a woman, stand up, doesn't matter what color you are, to stand up. And we're here today as a community to stand up for each other, to stand up for my sister. As y'all know, the I Am Vanessa Guillen Act was introduced last year and that's going to be introduced again and i just pray to god for it to pass because last week after me screaming after my mom you know just saying it, my daughter was sexually harassed Mi hija estaba haciendo cosas sexualmente. i said it too my sister was being sexually harassed yeah a year later a year later, they want to start calling us a liar. And that, hurt, that broke my heart. That a year later, it took them to confirm that. And now today, we want to announce that we have established the I Am Vanessa Guillen Foundation in her honor to help those in need to be the voice to the voiceless and to create the change we have been needing, not for years, but for decades to help those men and women in our service that are going through sexual assault and sexual harassment to not be afraid to speak up. Because my sister did not deserve what happened to her. My sister did not get the help that she needed. And now we're here in her honor, the I Am Vanessa Guillen Foundation, to bring help to those that need it. The need the, the need is the most like my sister, yet no one listened to them. We're, we're here today to help y'all through the process, and I know it's hard. And like I said at the end, be the voice, be the change. We have to be their voice because we must protect those who protect us. So we're... We're, the, we're not alone in this fight because we did not establish this foundation or this fight alone. It's because of all y'all that are here today. So give y'all applauses for, for standing up 
because you know a lot of us are afraid of the military and not anymore so if if y'all can give a round of applause to yourselves thank you so much gracias a todos significa mucho para nosotros and now i want to pass the mic to someone who you know is supposed to be our attorney but now you know i invite her into our house and you know she is family to us because i remember during this time a year ago we tried to get any other attorney we could but everybody bashed us everybody said no we cannot take your, your sister's case but you know this demonstrates that women are powerful, that we are powerful no matter where we come from. So if Natalie Kwan can come up to the mic. Um, thank you everyone for coming today. You know, I want to focus on Vanessa and her legacy. And uh, through the year, I got to meet so many incredible people, um, friends from her, school, her family obviously, and friends from the base, you know, and I, and I applaud those honest individuals that stood up for her and told the truth of what they knew and what they saw and who she was. Uh, there's no more reason than to do this than for justice, and justice is such an important component in our society, and my goal is to see that this family gets the justice that they deserve. And all the victims and survivors get the justice they deserve. When we started the I'm Vanessa Keen Foundation, the goal was to give those who don't have a voice a voice, help and guidance for when they're in this situation. I get emails and calls every day about I got in this situation and I reported it and I got in trouble or I don't know where to go or they let my uh, perpetrator assailant off. I read it all the time and it's, it's heartbreaking. But what happened to Vanessa is unfortunately a, a very common story in the military. Girls getting sexually harassed and sexually assaulted. But hers took it a step further, which goes to show it's, it's real, it can happen. People fight off their assailant, their perpetrator, and they get killed. That shouldn't happen in our society. You know, that should not happen anywhere. Uh, it's barbaric what happened and it should never ever happen. And the only way we can fix this, the only way we can do anything, all of us here, is to call Congress, call your Senator, and tell them you demand that the just the I am Vanessa Gein bill gets passed. We all have a voice, we all have a vote, we all have an opportunity to change the law. And when the DOD came out last week and said that they will not oppose the change, uh, the going through the command, that was, everyone should know that you are watching history in the making. Everyone told me that will never change, it will never happen. Amen. They laughed at my face and told me I was crazy for doing this case. And I'm not crazy, I'm a believer. And I think we're all believers now because we're all seeing what's happened. Thank you. It's the DOD that pulled it, not me. Yeah. It's the DOD that pulled it, not us. It's the DOD that pulled it, not you. And that's how we know that we're doing something right. I wanna thank Chow for coming today too from Houston Women's Le Houston Area Women's Center. Okay. Um, you know, she was very supportive of this family and she gave them a voice and she gave them a platform and she gives so many survivors and victims a platform. And she told me, Natalie, if there's ever anyone that needs help, send them our way. We don't have a lot of people out there that are looking to help people because they really believe in helping people. There's so many people out there looking for a reason to do it. Will I get paid for this? Or will I get a promotion from this? It's not what it's not what it's supposed to be about. Because there's karma. Good things come to good people. And I was lucky to meet so many good people through this journey. It was it had its ups and downs, but the greatest part of this journey was meeting this family and seeing what we could do as a as a community and as a as a society. And we're all here today because we still believe. And it's us who grows together and us who makes a difference. That's what really matters at the end of the day. You know, when people get sick, you gotta understand, such as Ms. Guillen, she's in a position where she used to scream and 
yell and take down the bass and close it down. And I would sit there and go, wow, that's incredible. And now it's our turn. She's passed the baton to us. She's said, you guys take it from here. And all you guys are still here today, and you're all here to support justice for Vanessa. So not only are we going to ask you to call your congressman or your senator and ask them, and I'm talking about U.S., okay, not Texas, but you have who? You got Cruz here, and you got another guy. Um, you, whoever, your, whoever your senators and your congressmen are here, you call them, you demand that they get the justice, the the I am Vanessa Gein bill passed. And then you also do me a favor, you go on to the, is it the website, I am, okay, the, the foundation. There's the foundation that you saw these very generous people donate to. We're, our goal is to make sure that what happened to Vanessa never happens again. And um, I think that all of us know in the bottom of our heart that we are gonna be successful and we are gonna have a day where we all celebrate but I'm going to ask you all to do another thing. Go to D.C. May 13th. That's when we're going to introduce the bill. Um, and it's going to be a big day for all of us. Because look where we are today versus where we were last year when they introduced the bill. Last year when we introduced the bill, we couldn't even get a, a call from anyone from the base or a meeting. Last Friday or two Fridays ago, we were in the Pentagon meeting with a Deputy Secretary of Defense. Um, and we got the base now saying, admitting that they sexually harassed her. We have gone really far in a small amount of time. And I would love to see all of you in DC next Thursday, May 13th at noon, when we introduce the I am Vanessa Guillen bill. I thank everyone here from the bottom of my heart for being part of this wonderful family, supporting their voyage, their plight for justice. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.